Today's video has been highly requested and I'm trying to jump on it because y'all are about to be in school. So a school supplies video needs to come out now, okay? So here I am. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back, okay? Happy to have you once again. A lot of you guys have requested a school supplies crochet video, okay? Now, for this video, whether you're a student in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, you're a mom who has children in any of those, or you're a teacher who just needs some ideas to spruce up their classroom, this video is for you. I've got a little bit of something for everybody, okay? I want to hit all the demographics at once. So, here we are, okay? Um, this video has five categories. As always, okay, as with every video that I do for you, all the categories are chaptered out down below. So if you want to skip ahead to a certain one, go for it. Other than that, everything I say will be listed in the description box in order that I said it, linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial for you so that you can make whatever I'm showing you. The five categories that I have for you today are backpacks, pencil cases slash pouches, accessories, laptop slash book covers, and root dorm decor, okay? I don't even know why I have my hand up. I wasn't even counting correctly. Let's go ahead and jump right into the backpack category, which for one, I wasn't gonna include this category because in my mind, I don't think people, I mean, at least not me, genuinely use backpacks um, as, cro I mean, okay, that was dumb. Crocheted backpacks, okay? So the only reason I really added it was because I had multiple people asking me to include backpacks in all my other videos. So this is me including the backpacks, okay? We have this free crochet backpack, pretty basic. Um, you've got some patches on there so you can kind of get an idea of what it would look like if you customized it a little more. Then there's this sunflower drawstring bag, okay? And this Betty backpack, which looks a little more simpler if you don't really want a lot of character on your bag. Or you can do this bumblebee backpack which I thought was really cute and I'm definitely going to make my kids one of these in the future when I have kids if I have kids um and another one I thought was very fun very like oh okay that's creative is this frog backpack because I don't think I ever would have came up with this idea so I thought that was really cool or this yellow backpack or this Florence backpack and then there's this other backpack that looks like it's made out of it looks like it's made out of a really thin thicker yarn um but yeah so those are your backpacks i mean pretty self-explanatory it's backpacks you can really get as creative as you want or as simple as you want with these backpacks so moving into pencil pouches and pencil cases okay i don't really know what a case and a pouch like what's the difference so i'm just gonna kind of put it all in one um there's a simple granny square pencil case or there's this cute, like, little one, which I know was in many of my videos uh, for other things. I thought this would be cute for, like, some pens, some pencils, some lip gloss, whatever. Um, or there's this crocheted cat pencil bag or this shark pencil case or even this cat pencil case, which I thought was really cute. It's literally like a cat. It looks like a stuffed animal and it holds pencils, okay? Or there's this crocheted bear pencil bag or this bear calculator case okay i thought that was really cute or even this tulip bag um for pencils and pens and things like that and then if you're looking for more of like a sophisticated look then there's this marker case okay i thought that was kind of cool it's kind of like a mini drawstring bag which i thought was cute or you can get this box pencil case pattern or a unicorn pencil bag, okay? So you've got many options, many different kinds. That is all we have for pencil pouches and pencil cases. So let's go ahead and move into the school supply accessory category, okay? So we have these paperclip bookmarks, but with an added feature of having a crocheted flower on top, okay? I thought those were cute. Or you can do a crocheted pencil bookmark or even, um, 
I really like the idea. I actually have this pattern, this strawberry pattern for the strawberry and orange personal pouch for like headphones. I tried this strawberry pattern when I was a super beginner and I got really frustrated and gave up. So I actually recommend this for people who have a couple projects under their belt, okay? Um, if you're a teacher and or if you're a teacher or you are a parent who wants to donate these to teacher, um, you can actually crochet. You can crochet like erasers for um expo markers whiteboard erasers there you go whiteboard erasers okay and i think you can even crochet like a magnet into the eraser so it'll stick to whatever so i thought that would be like a cute teacher appreciation gift if you wanted to create something and not buy something another cute thing are these mushroom pencil toppers or these um mermaid pencil toppers okay if you want to make some cute keychains for your bag there's this monstera leaf and these cat keychains okay or this gummy worm keychain which i thought was so cute and i actually want to make one even though i'm not going back to school um at the moment i'm not in a back to school moment right now but i still want to make one or even this cute, they're like pencil toppers, but there's also a case. This pineapple pencil holder I thought was really cute. Um, or this angry uterus keychain, okay? Because if there's one thing about me, it was political statement keychains and pins in high school, okay? So if you want something cute, but it's going to pop a statement, here's this angry uterus keychain. Um, you can also make crochet water bottle holders, which I love, especially in college. I like having a water bottle holder. I didn't like holding my water bottle. So there's this one that also has a phone pouch or there's a cute one, um, watermelon one, or even just like granny square style one. You can really switch out with any kind of color. Um, if you want another holder, you can get a holder for chapstick. Okay. Because we don't want chapped lips going back to school. Okay. We need moisturized nice lips going back to school so get some chapstick holders or even some cute keychains some more cute keychains like this chicken keychain this star keychain or this frog keychain okay super freaking cute to add a little detail and add a little personality to your backpack or your lunch pail or whatever and that's all we have for accessories so let's go ahead and move into the laptop slash book covers category for this category, you can really make a book cover or a laptop sleeve or whatever with any kind of tapestry grid, okay? So, I found this video, how to crochet any iPad laptop Kindle sleeve with pixel grid crochet. If you find a grid um, tapestry or grid crochet design that you want to do, but you don't know how to make it to fit whatever you're trying to make it for, sleeve cover, go watch her video. There you go. Um, or if you want to make this really cute, like bear or cat kind of laptop case cover thing. I saw this creator making it on TikTok and I was scrolling through Pinterest and Miss Ma'am made a YouTube video for it. So that's our YouTube video. Go check that out. Another thing is a crocheted checkered book cover, which I thought was really cute. And I've actually added to my list of projects I want to do this year. Um, or this Kindle slash book pouch in a different kind of checkered way with a little flap over. Um, and then there's just a bunch. Um, there's this more simple one that has like a button clasp. Or there's one that has a little spot for like a library card or a pen or any kind of applique you want on the cover. Or just another simple e-reader case, okay? Or there's this Bible cover, which can be used for the Bible or really anything you're reading. Um, I thought it was actually really cute. And even though I don't read the Bible, I think I want to do this for my journal. I want to make a cover like this that has like handles. I thought it would be, be kind of slay, okay? Uh, so I'm going to do that. But you can also just use granny squares like this laptop case. Pick any granny square and do something like this. Or make tiny, tiny granny squares and do a book cover that looks something like this one, okay? And that is all we have for laptop slash book covers, okay? So let's go ahead and move into the final category, which is dorm decor. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot for this category because I'm going to have a full decor video coming out that is 50 decor ideas just straight up decor okay no other category so there aren't that many in this one but stay tuned for the decor video okay for this one we have a few we have a mesh hammock which obviously 
can never go wrong with this pick any color and it'll hold your stuffed animals if you're crocheting and you're sharing a dorm with someone and you want a place to put your yarn that isn't in the way there you go use the corner above your bed okay um if you want a simple yet cute little checkered pillow there's that pattern or you can make this star garland which i thought was really cute and i actually had a couple people in another video where where i referenced this star garland say they made it for their dorm room so there you go you know it's it's happening guys use this star crochet star crochet star garland pattern okay um or if you need a place to kind of store your jewelry and you don't really have a lot of surfaces for jewelry dishes or things like that then you should make this wall jewelry this earring holder okay um i actually use something like that it's right above my finger this blue thing right here i crocheted a square nailed it to the wall and now i hang all my earrings on it okay so it's something simple like that you don't even really need to do the whole wood stick moment like this one you can really make it super simple if you don't want to do the wood stick thing but i definitely highly recommend this pattern or a crocheted star pillow okay adds a little pop to your room you can crochet any color to match any aesthetic you have going on and it just adds a little flavor a little personality to your bed okay all right that is all i have for 50 back to school supplies crochet ideas okay i hope i was able to satisfy the needs of a majority of you guys with this video if not if there's anything else that you need me to find or another kind of video that you want me to make that you can't find on the internet please comment it down below and i will totally do that for you okay friendly reminder everything i said is on a cohesive pinterest board link down in the description box below and then below that i've listed everything that i said in this video in the order that i said it linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial so that you can make whatever i showed you okay if you're planning on making anything from this video um and you want to show it off follow me on instagram and tag me so i can share it on my instagram story i love seeing your guys creations especially when they come from an inspiration video that i've made so please tag me in those so i can see and like and comment and share in all those fun social media things if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you doing you're literally all the way at the end of the video and you're not subscribed but you hang out till the end that's weird. Hit the subscribe button, okay? Join us in our little corner of the internet crochet community as we discover more crochet projects that we didn't even know existed and help each other through the process of learning and perfecting our crochet craft, okay? Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!